learning intellectual property intellectual property is not a subject that is traditionally taught in universities intellectual property law was introduced as a legal subject in the law schools in india it is of recent origin in somewhere in the 1990s we saw that it was introduced as a legal subject and this coincides with the rapid development of intellectual property law and its recognition recognition in the international sphere now you will find that intellectual property rights deals with largely three things one it talks about the rights it talks about the creation of those rights and it also talks about enforcement rights creation and enforcement is the domain of intellectual property law and being a legal subject it is something that is taught to lawyers and law students there is another branch of knowledge which also shows some interest on intellectual property right which is the management managing intellectual property though it is not taught as a separate subject in management schools you find intellectual property rights coming as a part of the innovation and entrepreneurship course or you will find it as a part of the legal aspects of business course so you will find ipr being taught in management schools in one of these courses or in courses which are similar to this the key difference between a legal approach or what is being taught in law school a legal approach and a approach by the management school is that the focus here is on managing ip so we don't get into the nitty gritties of enforcement um, rights and how it can get violated and how the rights are created here the entire focus is on managing and if you look at some of the scholarship there is an interesting analysis of how to convert limited life intellectual property into unlimited life intellectual property now this is a key thing which managers should be acquainted with because rights like patents copyright and designs what we call limited life ip and designs whereas trademarks and what we call trade secrets are unlimited life in the sense that there is no expiry date attached to it so managers are constantly looking at how they can convert a limited life ip into an unlimited life ip so in the class where we deal with management of intellectual property right we will look at this in greater detail